This is BBC News, I'm James Reynolds. The headline's at 8 o'clock. The Met Office issues its strongest possible weather warning, a threat to life for tomorrow morning when Storm Eunice is set to hit. It comes as Scotland and the north of England recover from Storm Dudley, which caused widespread travel problems and power cuts. The wind strengths are going to be stronger than we would normally see in these kind of storms and it's going to hit highly populated areas. So it's going to have a really big impact. President Biden warns that Russian military maneuvers on Ukraine's borders are not evidence of the Russians moving out and that they could invade within days. Boris Johnson says that the situation remains bleak. I have to tell you that the picture is continuing to be very grim. A British man, Simon Nellist, is named as the victim of a fatal shark attack in Sydney. A slight step out, so that's it, gone and down. And disaster for the 15-year-old Russian skater at the centre of the Winter Olympics doping controversy. An error-strewn routine means that she misses out entirely on a medal. Good evening. The Met Office has issued its most serious red warning, meaning a risk to life when Storm Eunice reaches the UK tomorrow morning. Alerts are in place across the country with wind speeds of between 70 and 90 miles an hour predicted. The government held an emergency COBRA meeting to discuss its preparations for the storm. Boris Johnson said that the army was on standby. A red warning means possible danger to life from debris, damage to homes and power cuts, as well as significant travel disruption. In Cornwall and Somerset, people are being urged only to travel if absolutely necessary. Many schools are being told to close. It comes just a day after Storm Dudley caused some damage in parts of northern England and Scotland. Here's our science editor, Rebecca Morrell. 